All right. So, I mean, the first thing, this is a question that, that you have addressed multiple times before, but since this is the first time that you and I are uh, speaking about this uh, election, um, whether it is you or uh, Nina, fairly certain that it, it's going to be the first person of color elected to a statewide office in Pennsylvania. And I, I'm just wondering, what significance does that have uh, to you? Well, me, of course, and, and thank you for the, the question and thank you for having me and thank you for your viewers for watching. Um, with, with me potentially being the, the first African-American, um, it, it has um, significance, great significance. Considering what's going on in our country now, considering um, you know, the, the state of the African-American men and African-Americans in general, and also the, the history of, um, of our struggles and histories of my parents' struggles, of my struggles. I, I think that it's, it plays a, a great significance. Um, and I, I am more than been willing to, to, to carry that load um, where others have carried it for me in the past. Why are you running for Auditor General? Um, several reasons. You know, mainly because a commitment, a moral obligation. Um, for 30 years, I've been doing this type of work. First as a special investigator with the Inspector General's Office, then as a special agent with the Attorney General's Office, and I'm also in the private sector and currently as Dolphin County Controller. My entire almost 30 year career has been with auditing and investigating how our tax paying dollars are being spent. And that's a result of, of, of my family. Um, you know, my family comes from, a, comes from blue collar workers, blue collar dues paying union members, coal miners, auto workers and steel workers. And for years, even growing up, I would hear them talk about how the government was spending their money. And that's something I never really, um, never could understand as a child, but it's something that, that always stuck with me. And um, something that, um, that, showed that I um, ended up being on the career path that I, that I currently am. So it has a lot to do with regards to my family, how I was raised, and making sure that our tax paying dollars are being spent the way in which they're supposed to be spent. Now, on the ballot, you show up as the Republican. Nina Ahmad shows up as the Democrat. With a position like Auditor General, what role does party politics play in that position? It shouldn't play any. It, should, it shouldn't play any. I mean, the Auditor General's position is apolitical. And when you look at the Pennsylvania Fiscal Code, it does not say that Republicans are to do this or Democrats are to do that. It simply states that the Auditor General shall do this. And it's pretty much the same thing that I'm doing now in Dolphin County with regards to the county fiscal code. It doesn't state party affiliation. It simply states what the controller, what the controller shall do. And um, so there really shouldn't be, even though you have to go through the political process in order to get there, and that I understand, um, but it, you really, it, you, politics shouldn't come into it once you get into office. You mentioned uh, your your career and and the positions that you've had uh, throughout your career. Um, what are the key accomplishments within your 25, 30 year uh, career when you're working in um, as as a fiscal watchdog, so to speak, um, that make you most qualified for this uh, chief position? Um, the first one being in my current position as Dolphin County Controller. Um, Dolphin County under my office's um, direction and guidance, Dolphin County has received eight national awards for financial reporting. And um, this is a, for a comprehensive annual financial report, which is a very detailed and transparent report. And the fact that we have received eight national awards, the so first for Dolphin County, eight national awards, um, it, it, that, that pretty much pretty much sums it up, and it doesn't get get any any higher than that. And that's something that I am extremely proud of. Um, you know, thanks to the commissioners for working with me. Thanks to my my staff and other Dolphin County employees who have um who have worked with the controller's office for that to happen. So that's one of the things that I am most proud of, and it shows you that in this situation, experience does matter. What is Pennsylvania lacking from the Auditor General today? Um, I don't necessarily know what it's, what it's lacking. 
um, you know, one of the things I can talk about are some of the things that I would bring to the office. Mm -hmm. And one of those things would be one, and I have those, there's 30 years of experience, 30 years of experience in the um, private and in the public sector. And where some of the ideas that I would bring to the office are, are things that would be somewhat um, innovative, would require someone to be a critical thinker. And um, some might say somebody who is being very progressive with regards to some of the ideas that they have. And one of them being is, to, is working with subject matter experts. When you have particular audits and these, the subject requires a certain level of expertise, whether you're talking about um, a computer database or whether you're talking about healthcare. In certain, some of those areas require a certain level of expertise. So I would bring in subject matter experts in those areas to work with and be under the guidance in management of the auditors in the Auditor General's office to help perform those, those audits. And by doing that, when you, when you, when you complete your audit, audit report and submit your recommendations, the recommendations are gonna have some teeth to it because it's still, those subject matter experts are gonna, they're gonna help you with those findings. If elected, as the state's fiscal watchdog, what are you addressing first in office? COVID, COVID-19, where, where are the funds being spent? Um, you know, unfortunately, you know, when, um, when Eugene Di Pasquale leaves office, as far as the audits of those funds, they're, they're, not, they're not gonna be complete. There really just isn't enough time because um, money is still being allocated, money is still being spent. So the first thing I would have to do is one, to determine where those funds were to go and to determine if they went to where they're supposed to go and, they, and if they were, were spent, spent appropriately. Another thing I would have to look at are the nursing homes. What's going on with the nursing homes? In Dolphin County, 90% of the COVID-19 deaths are in our nursing homes. And um, Dauphin County, in, in certain nursing homes in Dauphin County, we're receiving, receiving individuals, patients from elsewhere, really without any warning from, from the state or from anybody else. And when we try to find out if we, um, you know, who these individuals are, why we were receiving them, we're, we're really, we're not getting any answers. And um, so we would have to know wh why, why is this happening? So we, in, in order to, so yeah, we would have to figure out what, what's, what's going on with that, so. All right, uh, a couple fun questions now, uh, just to, you know, serious topics and, and, and topics that we need to address, but let's uh, have a little fun. So as quick as you can, rapid fire uh, kind of responses, five or, or six questions, because I just came up with a sixth one, which I'll, I'll ask as well. So uh, first, what's your, now you grew up in Harrisburg, um, yes. but this is a statewide position. Yes. What's your favorite food spot to eat outside of Harrisburg? Outside of Harrisburg? Oh, geez. Either Jimmy's Cheese Steaks in um, South Street in Philly, or the Permani Brothers on the University of Pittsburgh campus. Perfect segue to the next question, Steelers or Eagles? Eagles, but I root for the Steelers. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I, used, I, used to live, I used to live in Pittsburgh and I, went to, and I did my undergrad at Pitt. So it's hard not to root for the Steelers. Fair enough. Uh, best concert you've been to? Um, Rick James in DC. One place in Pennsylvania that you have not been yet, but you need to get to? Oh, geez. Wow, I pretty much have been, been everywhere. Oh. Um, and, um, oh my God, what's the, the one, I forgot the person's name, but I can see the house with water running through it. The house with water running through it? Yeah, it's in, it's in, it's in, it's the, one of the famous architects. Oh, I forgot his name. I forgot ah. his name, but that place. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll have to look it up. Uh, I noticed, I... I noticed behind you, uh, Darth Vader. Something you oh, and yeah. Eugene, you, you, you and Eugene have that in common. Star Wars. Uh, if what Star Wars character best represents you as a candidate? Um, depending on my mood, it could either be Luke Skywalker or Darth Vader, as you can oh. as, you, as you can see behind me. Depending on your mood, I like that. Um, if you weren't in politics, if you weren't in this uh, race, what would you be doing? Um, I would probably be working for a nonprofit. 
any in per, any any um in particular I, I would say the hack foundation Harrisburg community college foundation got it uh last question end on this are you confident with the uh safety and results in this year's election um to be determined I mean, as far as you say safety is, are you saying as? Security. As far as security? Um, are you I mean, confident that the that this election will be, you work in Dauphin County's office, so I'm sure you run into uh, uh, Mr. Fieser. Oh, and, and okay, okay. I'm, uh, so, I'm sorry, I thought you meant like physical security, like somebody oh, coming after me when I'm trying to vote. Oh, no, 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 no. Are, are you confident that, the, that these elections will be uh, secure and fair? Uh, in Dauphin County, absolutely. I'm, I'm, I'm very, very confident. Could change, but as of, as of today, I'm very confident.